Hello and welcome to video number nine in Embolden's video tutorial series. This should be a very quick video. We're just going to talk about how to add a hard return in the middle of a paragraph or a list item or a header. Um, so as we mentioned in the last video, you have three basic types of, of block level elements. You have your paragraphs, your headers or subheads, and your list items, whether bulleted or numbered lists. Um, and if you're in any one of them, if you're in a list item and you hit enter, you get a new list item. If you're in a paragraph and you hit enter, you get a new paragraph. Sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want to put a hard return in the middle of an existing paragraph or in the middle of a list item. Um, usually the, this is most often the case when you're dealing with putting an address in. So if I wanted to type in the embolden address, I would type embolden. And if I hit enter, 545 Pawtucket Avenue, enter Pawtucket, Rhode Island, 02860. Obviously, we can see this is actually three separate paragraphs. If I highlight this and make it a list, it's three separate list items. Um, and we don't want that. We don't want all this extra space in here. We want it to be one paragraph that just happens to have a return at the end of this line at the end of this line. So the way we do that is I'm going to uh, get these back up here. So it's kind of one big paragraph. So embolden. And then instead of hitting enter, if I hold down shift and hit enter, we just get that new line character. In HTML, it's called a BR tag, which BR stands for break rule. Um, you shouldn't need to know too much about that, but it will come up in the later video when we talk about troubleshooting. Um, but so we have our, you know, this is one paragraph of the BR here. We want to put another return or another BR in shift enter. So I get another one. Um, and as we can see now, this is one paragraph. It happens to have returns in here, but a return is like a space. It's like any other character. The, the computer does not recognize this as three separate lines. It doesn't recognize this as three different elements. So if we highlight this and now try to make it a bulleted list or a numbered list, we see it's just one element. Um, so it's not each line is not a separate bullet. It's just one big bullet and the same thing works if you're already in a list Like if I wanted to for whatever reason add another line to this first list item here Hold down shift and hit enter and then I type and it works What you may have just noticed there was when I held down shift and hit enter The cursor didn't actually create the new line until I started typing It just kind of moved over to the right a couple of pixels that happens on some browsers um, I'm in IE9 running in compatibility mode, so it's running like an earlier version. Um, certain other browsers do that too. It's just kind of, it's got to do with the way different browsers interpret uh, the programming that the editor has in it. So um, don't worry too much about that. If you hold down shift and hit enter, uh, you won't always get the new line right away. You just start typing and then the new line appears. So that's it. This was a very quick video. Uh, next time we're going to have another really quick video. We're going to talk about some very basic formatting stuff. And then later we will talk about styles and some more advanced things.